Okay, so I'm in Atlanta. I just arrived to Slutty Vegan. The line doesn't look too crazy, so I'm thinking it's gonna move pretty quickly. Well, who knows, famous last words. I'm gonna head in and get my food so that I can come back here and eat it and show you guys what it looks like. All right. No. I'm back in the car now and I feel like I just have the biggest smile on my face because as you saw in the video the atmosphere and the energy in there were just so vibrant and exciting like I've never felt more empowered by the word slut and I think I just heard the word slut used in like one you know half hour setting probably as many times as I've ever heard it in my life <laughs> and um, I loved it. So I would say in and out, it probably took me about 30 minutes from the end of the line until I got my food. So here's the food. I love that the packaging is paper. Um, they do give you some ketchup packets that aren't, you know, paper, they're plastic, um, but everything else is uh, paper. So here is the thing that the burger comes in as you can see I've got the fries in there and the burger um, fries are included with the price of the burger which is maybe like $16 so I got the one night stand burger I was really torn between that and the fussy hussy the only difference between the two is that the fussy hussy has pickles and the one night stand has bacon but they're kind of known for their bacon and they actually sell it now um, packaged so I figured I had to try it. Oh my god. I mean, look at this burger. I mean, I want to actually just try a piece of the- oh, the bacon's crispy. For some reason I was imagining it to be like, limp. Oh my god. That bacon's- Woo, that's good. Woo! All I can think of is just like, we got a slut in the building. I'm gonna take a couple photos and then I'm gonna take my first bite. All right, let's eat. I'm starving. This burger's like falling apart everywhere. Here we go. First bite. Got my napkins ready. Fuck. Just like. Okay. That is goddamn delicious. That's amazing. This bite, this bite's gonna be really good because there's like a crunchy piece of bacon just like zigzagged out the side. Here we go. One more bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's incredible. I'm so happy I got the one with the bacon. So this bun, I forget what it's called, a Hawaiian bun, which I remember from like middle school, I feel like in our cafeteria we had Hawaiian buns and it's like a little bit yellowy and it's just like a little bit like sweeter and um, it's super soft. <laughs> Most people are like, what the fuck is she doing? Um, 
so it's it's a really different like I haven't had a bun like this in a really long time but I like it the sauce is incredible I mean it must be some kind of like Thousand Island mixture uh, but it's a little spicy it's got a little kick to it so I'm definitely a big I just keep going around this side because there's so much bacon sticking out over here um, this is also my first time trying the new Impossible Burger. So the only Impossible Burger that I had tried was when they were still making it with gluten. And now they're making it with soy. So it's a little, it's different. And I, and I like it better. It's, um, I didn't really like the first version of the Impossible Burger, but I like this a lot. Let me try a fry. As you can see, these fries has like a certain smell to it. They're like a little, they're a little like spicy. They've got some spices on them. This reminds me, by the way, so much of that video on YouTube with the guy Dame Drops and he's reviewing Five Guys Burgers and Fries. That guy was actually from Connecticut and that video was filmed in Connecticut, which I always felt very proud of. And then the version that they auto-tuned where he's like, damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Crispy crunch. All right, let's try this fry. Mmm, it's good. First of all, I love crinkle cut fries. I think that they, I don't know, just having that different texture, so much more exciting than just like a straight fry. This is good. They're not like the crispiest fries I've ever had, but usually when fries are super crispy, it's because they've been like double fried or like coated and then fried. So I'm okay with them being, you know, not super crispy and like also not super oily. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the seasoning is. Let me just try it on its own. I don't know. It's not like too spicy or like chipotle tasting or anything. All right, back to the burger. I wonder if I'm going to eat this whole thing. I'm very hungry. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my god. I could cry. Like if I thought about it enough, I could actually start crying about this. It's just so cool to be able to just like go somewhere that's like known for their burgers and just know that like everything's vegan and you're like not watching the person like putting it together with their gloves on and being like are they changing gloves between like touching the meat and touching the you know it's just like everything's vegan like it's amazing like now i understand why people go so insane over like in and out and like shake shock and whatever like i understand the excitement now because i just have that excitement going there the guy who was in line behind me, he was very friendly. He was like, I was driving past and I had never seen the line this short. So I stopped and I was like, oh, so this is the shortest the line. He's like, oh, by far. He's like, the line normally goes all the way down the block and like onto the next block. But I just came at a good time, I guess, like on the week. Weekday is a good time to come. Another thing back to the burger, it has lettuce, tomato, onion, but the onions are caramelized onions. I really don't like raw onions I just find them to be like way too pungent and they kind of like overpower the food and like anyone who eats raw onions like literally smells like an onion for the entire rest of the day the fact that they're caramelized it's just it just kind of softens that like oniony flavor a little makes it more sweet tasting I'm in heaven this is delicious honestly after like at least a year of like so much hype and hearing so much about this place, I was certain that like I that it wouldn't be as good as all the hype was making. I was like, oh, this is probably just one of those places that gets like hyped up just like for whatever reason, and then the hype just like keeps building on itself. But no, it was hyped up for a reason because it's fucking delicious. I've got like a lot of burger sticking out back here, so let's just like try this. Hmm. That is good. All right. 
I'm gonna finish this and then I'll come back at the end with any final thoughts so I had. I finished eating. I'm really full. I finished the burger, but there's still a bunch of fries left. Overall, Slutty Vegan was an amazing experience. I was thinking about it. I'm like, even if I didn't get food, like it would have still been worth it to go there just to like go through that whole experience and like meet all those people and just like have the time of my life. The way they're doing it, it's like they have a seamless system down. Yes, the line gets long, but like they're so efficient and the food is incredible and it speaks for itself. And I think it's only going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Hopefully those slutty strips will become available in like grocery stores nationwide. I certainly hope so. Actually, I heard there's a reality show coming out starring the woman who um, started it and it's going to be all about like her business and expanding the business so that's incredible but that means the lines are going to be even longer and <laughs> the waits are going to be even longer so go while you can honestly it almost seems like going like an hour after they open is even a little better than going right when they open or before they open because I think there's just a bunch of people that like line up before they open because they think it's going to be faster when in reality, like the line moves pretty quickly. And then by the time I left, the line was shorter than it was when I got there. So I think going around like five would be good. I think six or seven or later, it's gonna start getting like much longer because <clears throat> people are off work and it's dinner time and whatnot. So I'm incredibly full and happy and very satisfied. And I'm so happy that I went out of my way to do this. I had a day off in Atlanta and this was like really all I wanted to do. And um, it was worth it. Never been prouder to be a slutty vegan. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking this out. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.